Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a static shot, like a shot that you took on a tripod or some sort of composition you created, like this clone video that I made here that's on a tripod, not moving, locked down, and make it look like it was filmed handheld. Now we could go into our clip and then go into effect controls and start animating our position scale and stuff to kind of manually move your clip around to make it look like it's moving. Or another easy way to do it is to just film anything handheld. So I'm just filming my backyard here handheld, a different shot months later, and combine it with the effect called warp stabilizer. So warp, type in warp, and you're gonna see warp stabilizer right here. But you can't just drag it onto the clip. We have to first right click on our clip, the one that has the handheld motion on it, right click on that, go up to nest, and I'm gonna call this movement, and click okay, so that's gonna nest that clip. Then we drag warp stabilizer onto it, and you'll see over in effect controls, it'll do its thing over here, so it's analyzing each frame. So just let it do its thing until it reaches 100%. When it's done, it'll say stabilizing over here, and then the orange kind of thing will go away. And then all we have to do is go to the nested sequence, double click on it, and it'll open up the new sequence, the nested one over here, and then just delete that original clip from it, the handheld clip, go back to your original sequence, or go into your files over here, and copy the clip that you want to use. This is the tripod shot, the static shot, and then go back into your nested sequence and paste that clip in there. Then when we go back to the original sequence and watch this nested clip now, it's gonna have the new footage in it and it's gonna make that static shot look like it was filmed handheld. And just so you know, you can also still play around with warp stabilizer over here, Probably just smoothness here. If you wanna make it even more smooth, just crank that up. And then now once it's done stabilizing over here, this shot will still look handheld, but it'll just be a little bit smoother like this. And that's how you can turn a static shot into a handheld looking shot by using Warp Stabilizer in Premiere Pro.